Hey guys, happy Friday. It is already Friday. I'm so happy that it's Friday. Next week my husband is off from work and I just, I love when he's off from work because he gets to spend time with us and the baby. So we're really, I'm just happy. I get excited every Friday that the, when the week that he works and then I get excited on Fridays because I'm like, oh, he's going to be off the next week. So I don't know how long the schedule is going to last. Uh, I think that because everything's opening back up, he's probably going to start going back to work full time again. But for right now, we're enjoying enjoying having him around more. Uh, so we are just currently hanging out on the floor. Remy just woke up from his nap just a little go, little bit ago. The dogs are rolling around. <laughs> Stanley rolling around being silly, and Remy is playing with his. What is he playing with? He's playing with one of the little blocks that goes inside of that. <laughs> Shape sorter. Oh my gosh. You know, this is so silly. <laughs> so we're just hanging out on the floor. Sorry. We're just hanging out on the floor. He just woke up a little bit ago. The dogs are just being really silly right now. Rubbing on the baby's blanket. Stop. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so we're just hanging out right now. I'm currently doing laundry. We have so much laundry that needs to be done and I needed to wash our bed sheets and our clothes and the baby's clothes like his hamper is so full and I try and wash his clothes a little bit more frequently than I do ours just because folding tiny little clothes a pile of it is no fun I don't like I don't like folding clothes in general and then to add tiny itty bitty clothes and it's like it's so I mean you guys if you're moms you know or parents you know <laughs> so yeah, we're just, uh, I'm just doing laundry right now, and then I wanted to come on and let you guys know I'm really excited because I am going to start delivering groceries for Instacart, and I, I, I wanted to do something, I wanted to work, and I want to work because, obviously, we want money, <laughs> so I, we're, we're trying to, we have, like, a lot of things that we want to do with our house, like, put in a garage, we want to put in a back patio, um, we want to fix the front patio and then we need to put a fence in and there's just so many different things that we want to do with um, with our house and so I was like well I want to get a job and but I didn't want to get a job to where I couldn't I couldn't still be home with with Remy I wanted to still be able to be a stay-at-home mom I guess working part-time I don't know what you would call that but I still wanted to be able to stay at home with him and I didn't want to have to have anyone watch him like I just I wanted to be with him and I enjoy being with him and then my son's off from school this summer and so I just I wanted to be home especially this summer with the kids so I decided to get a job well I got two jobs <laughs> I became a dog walker on Rover I haven't had any clients yet because I just just got approved just like got my profile up and everything so hopefully I get clients with that we all know well I don't know if we all know but I absolutely love dogs so much and cats <laughs> we have two dogs and a cat so I really wanted to do that and then I also got a job with Instacart. So I'm waiting for the credit card to come in the mail because they send you a credit card I guess that they preload when you get an order and they put that on your card and then you use that card to pay. And then I'm waiting on the insulated bags to come in and so hopefully all that comes in next week and then I can start. I mean I can technically start um, with because you can pay on Google Pay but I don't want to risk doing that and then I'm not able to pay with my phone or something happens and then I have to cancel the order and I, I don't want to risk getting a bad review because I can't pay with Google Pay on my phone to stay at a store. And we're still new to Maryland so I don't really know what stores allow Google Pay. I mean, I don't really know the area very well either, which is another reason I did Instacart because I was like, that's a really good way for me to learn the area and what's around here and the different stores are that are around here. Because we moved here, it was like January 27th or something that we got down here. And then we got into our house uh, towards the end of February is when we got into our, I believe it was towards the end of February that we got into our new house. And then COVID happened. So we didn't, I didn't really have a chance to learn the area and what's around here and the different places. And it was kind of a bummer my husband, he used to live here a couple years ago, so he knows, like, he knows the area pretty well. I don't, and like I said, COVID happened, so I didn't have a chance to even go around and, what are you doing? Don't put that in your mouth. Give that to me. No. Don't put that in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Get something else. Here, look. Okay. <laughs> so, 
yeah, so I didn't have a chance to really go around and, and learn, learn the area or anything. Sorry if I keep playing with my hair. I don't, I'm not used to having my hair down. You know that I always put my hair up in a bun and I just didn't feel like putting my hair up today, but I don't feel like having it down. I'm just, I don't know. But Remy has just started doing that. It's like recently, like I told you in the, in the other video that I feel like he's just been making so many leaps once he hit six months. And it's like he just now noticed that we have dogs. He, you okay? Oh my goodness, he's doing his little fake cough. <laughs> he, it, so he'll be eating his lunch or dinner breakfast and he'll just, he'll just be staring at the dogs. When they walk by him, he gets distracted and he just like looks to stare at them. And it's like he just now realized that we have dogs. And then yesterday, the dogs are now realizing that he is good for something because now when he gets in his high chair, they are just underneath the high chair begging for food. But he is getting a little antsy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably feed him. Um, I usually wait a little bit after he wakes up to feed him because he's usually not hungry. Immediately, oh, I need to cut your nails. He's not usually immediately hungry, but I can tell he's getting hungry right now. Excuse me if you heard that, it was gross, I burped. Sorry, <laughs> but hi, you want to say hi to everybody? Say hi, Remy, oh. Remy. Hi, oh, and then I've got this guy who loves, <laughs> loves being in my videos. Every time I start recording, he immediately comes up to me and starts like trying to lick my mouth and stuff. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> but peanut time. I'm going to go ahead and feed him, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we do this afternoon. I think we're, I'm gonna try and do some baby yoga with him. We'll see. I, I, I feel like I need to do yoga because I feel like my back is getting tight, and I, I just, I feel like I need to do some stretches because I don't want to pull my back again because I pulled my back about a month ago, and I mean it was. Terrible. I pulled it plugging something into the wall. I went to plug something into the wall in his crib and I like reached over and all of a sudden my back pulls and it knocked the air out of me and I was trying to scream for my husband. I didn't know what the heck just happened and I was like screaming, trying to for my husband, but I couldn't get words out because I like, like I said, it had knocked the air out of me and I felt like I was gasping for air and I was like hyperventilating. It was crazy I've never had that happen before so I had that feeling yesterday and then I felt it again today the feeling that I got before I pulled my back the last time so I want to try and do some yoga stretches and see if I can stretch whatever that is in my back out I think it has to do with the fact that we um, breastfeed side on our like the side sleeping position every night and I've been trying to get him like last night I didn't put him in his, I put him in his bassinet I put him in his bassinet after I fed him versus just sleeping, having him sleep next to us. And so I would feed him and then I'd lay him back in his bassinet and it seemed to work out. And then he didn't end up coming to our bed until about six in the morning, which is the, the latest that he's ever came to our bed. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'll have to finish telling you guys about that later. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and feed him. Say hi. You know? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and feed him and I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and the... Hopefully I didn't make you guys dizzy by turning that quickly. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and do this laundry really quick. I need to put some... Take the stuff out of the dryer and then put the stuff from the washer into the dryer and then put more stuff into the washer. So much stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I fed my son a little bit. He didn't really want to nurse. He ate on one side and then just got distracted and didn't want to finish. So let him take a little break. He's like a lazy eater. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this laundry and I will be back with you guys in just a sec. else throw the cup in there. I don't want to that Does anyone else throw their detergent cup into the wash when you're going to wash your stuff? 
I always throw my detergent cup into the wash. Be right back. I'm gonna go take these upstairs. Hold on. He's in his he's in his little uh, jumper, so he's he's okay. He's 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 safe. I'm just gonna go put these upstairs really quick. Um, but yeah, does anyone else throw their detergent cup into the washer when you're gonna wash your clothes? Because um, I I saw it on a YouTube channel one time. I was like, I never thought about that. Like throwing it in there so the wash rinses your detergent cup out. I don't know, if anyone else does that, let me know down in the comments if you if you guys do that too. are so long. One more. One more, one more, one more. My hair is all over your face. There we go. All done. It's kind of gross that I have your fingernail clippings everywhere, but it's okay. <laughs> They're just baby clippings. They're just baby clippings. They're just baby clippings. Ooh, this one's sharp. Uh, oh! Okay, I gotta get fix that other one. You got a sharp nail. Where is it? Let me see it. Let's see. This is it. This is the sharp one. And cut. I think we got them all. Just finished cutting his nails. He does so well when I cut his nails. I had tried doing it when he was sleeping, when he was little, I think I have vomit on my arm. Hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. Okay, so I tried cutting his nails when he was uh, sleeping, when he was really little, and he never, he would always wake up. It would, he, like I said, he's a really light sleeper, so he would constantly wake up and it, he would he would jerk around too much and I, I cut him one time and so I, it, I was like okay we got to figure out a different way to do this filing them down doesn't work for me I don't I don't know I don't like filing them down so I was just like you know what I'm gonna try doing it with him awake and so he let me he just sits there and he watches his hands as I'm cutting his nails and sometimes he'll start getting a little bit antsy I think he's getting sleepy again that's usually what he does when he starts to get tired he starts to put his little hands behind his head Oh, but yeah, he would uh, he would just sit there and stare while I was cutting his nails. And are you getting sleepy? Are you getting tired? He would say, ouch. <laughs> he would sit there, ow. <laughs> and um, just watch me as I was cutting his nails. And it was, it was so cute. And he lets me do it like that. So it works for us. It, I don't know, how do you guys cut your kids' nails? Do y'all use a file? Do you do it while they're sleeping? Or do you do do they let you do it like my son lets me? My oldest wouldn't let me do that. I had to do it while he was sleeping. And Remy lets me. So it's been it's been really nice to be able to just sit with him and cut his nails really quickly while he's awake. Now his toes are a different story because his toes are really ticklish, so I have to get his dad to help me distract him. He's getting sleepy. I might have to go lay him down again. I feel like I feel like he just woke up like maybe he's been up for a little bit I used to use the app the Huckleberry app and I stopped using that timer or that that sleep app and I might need to start using it again so I can keep track of his sleep um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I, I need to fix the bed so I'm gonna take you guys upstairs so that we can fix the bed and then probably get him ready for an, his second nap of the day babe I can ease your mind but I want it my, my, my way Come meet me in the crowd Everything is allowed uh, Your mind is running wild But we'll do it my, my, my way Love is a feeling 
All right, guys, so I just finished making the bed. Don't judge my room. So we have these blankets. Sorry, I need to tie my hair. I'm gonna have to tie it up. Let me go tie my hair because it's driving me crazy. One second. All right, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> so I needed to get my hair up and out of the way. I don't know if you guys saw the blankets on our windows, but we have those there because my son still sleeps in our room at night. And we didn't want to put blackout shades up because he's going to be moving to his room pretty soon. So we just put our blankets up. And so I know it looks a little like, I don't know, it doesn't look the greatest. It's not <laughs> that aesthetically pleasing, but it does the job and keeps the room dark at night. He's doing his fake coughing again. <laughs> he's in his little back and play right now. And so, yeah, I just quickly made the bed. Um, we are supposed to have a dresser mirror right there but we don't because when we moved the movers lost the supports that hold the mirror up so we have just we just haven't gotten a new support support beams to the back of it we need to we just haven't done it yet we are going to be doing that and then I haven't showed you guys this yet this is okay so I probably seem like a really crazy lady <laughs> but this is my like my little I don't know what you would call it, remembrance area of my animals that I had. My dogs, let's see. My dog, Papa, it's actually P-A-P-A-W, all one word. They misspelled it twice, and so I just went with it. <laughs> and then these are their little ashes. I don't know if that makes me weird that I have their ashes there. Does that make me strange? And then these are their pictures. That's Angel, and then that's Periwinkle. And I don't have one of Papa just yet. Uh, but I will get one. And I, the reason I kept their ashes is because I told my husband that when we officially move into a home that we are going to retire in, then I will put their, I want to plant a tree with their ashes uh, mixed together. But until then, I don't want to just plant a tree with all of their ashes and then we move. And that would just, yeah. So I want to, I don't know if that, does that make me weird? But I have my dog's ashes in my bedroom, like on a shrine, basically. <laughs> That's okay. I, those are my, my, well, my animals, not just dogs, two dogs and a cat. But so I'm going to go ahead and lay this little guy down for a nap and I will get back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so little man just woke up. We are just hanging outside. It's kind of humid outside. I think that it's gonna rain because it started getting pretty dark out here. There's a lot of uh, cloud coverage, um, but I wanted to come out here and show you guys my succulents. I don't remember, I don't know if you guys remember a couple of videos back, I showed a picture of my succulents that I had repotted and I put new soil. They were not doing too great, but I wanted to show you guys because we have some new um, leaves on the succulent that have been growing, so they're doing a really, really great. So let me show you guys really quick. Hold on. So these are the succulents. Look at the new leaves on them that are growing, you guys. They look so, they look so good. All right, guys. So I don't know if I told you the story of the mint. It happened last week, and it was on Sunday. I remember, so if you hear any screaming, that is my neighbor's son. Um, he screams a lot. <laughs> so we, on Sunday, I had came outside. It was before we were going to leave to go to the park to visit. Uh, we were going to meet up with some friends at the park and spend the day there. And I came outside and I noticed that our mint was buried. And I'm like, why is the mint buried? It doesn't make any sense. And so I went inside and I asked Jeremy. I was like, hey, you know, did you, did you bury the mint out? Did you cover the mint or 
were you messing with the garden today? And he was like, no. And so we go to the front. I go, well, look. And I took him. I was like, the min like the card was buried. Everything was buried. I was like, I don't understand what happened with somebody messing with our plants. It was like, that's super rude if somebody was messing with our plants. So he's like kind of trying to unbury it more. Because I, I unburied it, but it was a bug. I unburied it, but I had my son in my arms. So I only could only do so much. So he's digging through the dirt. And he's trying to uncover it. And I was like, what's that shiny thing? Why are there so many flies? And he, <laughs> some cat had pooped in our flower bed and was covering his poop and apparently covered the mint plant along with it. And <laughs> my husband had cat poo, it was really gross. Had cat poop all over his hands. I was like, ew. I mean, I had washed my hands before I like touched the baby with my right hand. But I was like, that's disgusting. I had no idea that a cat had pooped in our garden bed. And that is why it was buried. But it was really gross. I mean, it was fertilizer for the plants. But it was really nasty. So we're just going to probably go inside. I'm getting, like, it's so humid. I'm getting sticky, and I don't like the way it feels. Uh, so I'm going to probably go inside with him um, in just a little bit. We're going to just sit out here just a little bit longer. And then we'll head inside because I think it's going to rain pretty soon. I don't know. So I am about to cook dinner right now. I am going to be making a bulgogi chicken taco dinner with the HelloFresh. Um, now, I don't know if this is something, because I don't want to talk bad about a company, but I don't know if, if you guys have gotten HelloFresh, if this is just a common occurrence with HelloFresh, but this is the second time that this has happened, and I'm really glad that we put the chicken inside of a plastic bag because it leaked all over the bag. Like, I don't know if you can see the chicken juice. And so I'm really happy that I put it inside of the plastic bag because last time I didn't I didn't put it in a plastic bag and it leaked all over my fridge, like the, everything. So we contacted the company and they gave us um, like a, 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 what is it called? A $30 voucher. A $30 voucher. And so I, I told my husband he's gonna, um, he's gonna write the company again and let them know that maybe, I don't know, maybe whatever, whatever a vacuum sealer and whatnot that they're using for their chicken maybe there's it needs to be replaced but because our the meat doesn't do that but it's just the chicken that always leaves the bag on us and i don't understand i don't really understand why or what's going on so we're gonna make it um i just wanted to give you guys that little heads up that if you do order hello fresh that is a possibility or has this happened to you is this something that's just a common occurrence with hello fresh so i haven't I haven't folded my laundry yet. I'm really, really bad about folding laundry. I'll leave it and it stays there like a day or two. I'm really, really bad about it. So I'm trying to get better. But I haven't folded anything because we ended up coming back inside from earlier when we were outside. And I ended up cutting my, my oldest son's hair. And I think I did an okay job. He doesn't really like it. <laughs> but we might end up shaving his head. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on making this dinner and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Oh, I didn't get the basketball. <laughs> you need a scaling three job. I thought I was just going to go bold over the <laughs> He's like, are you going to keep doing it? <laughs> He's like, keep doing it, daddy. Do 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 basketball. Do 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 basketball. Do 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 basketball. What's like a do 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 basketball. Stan's like, hey. <laughs> He's All right, guys. Is it recording? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my guys. So we are not making dinner tonight because I opened up the chicken. And that's my dog, Stanley, crying in the background because we put him in his kennel because there was thunder. And he gets really, really anxious and nervous. And he got so nervous, he pooped in the house. And um, so he's really, really anxious. So we put him in his kennel so he could just chill out and calm down. He needs a safe space right now. So we are going to probably be getting, <laughs> you can hear him crying. We're going to probably be getting Chinese food tonight because the chicken, when I opened it up, it smelled like an old fish bowl that had been sitting in its water and algae for a month or so. It just smelled so terrible. Stanley, you're fine. You heard more thunder. Yeah, there's thunder, so he's freaking out. Um, 
So it just smelled really, really bad. So we opened up all the chicken because I was like, well, this chicken's bad. Then we'll just eat the other chicken and we'll figure it out. That smelled bad too. It was really gross. So, and it was like, like slimy, the juice of the chicken in there. It was, it was just not good. So we went ahead and contacted the company again and we will no longer be getting chicken from them. I don't know. If it's, I think, I feel like it's just something with the sealer that they're using the vacuum seal i feel like that might that's probably what it is um so hopefully they actually look into it and fix the problem because i'm sure that we can't be the only ones that are having issues with the chicken in this area i don't know um so we're gonna go ahead and get chinese food tonight and i am gonna go ahead and end the vlog because our son is getting really really sleepy it's only 5 30 and he's already looking like he's ready for bed our dog is freaking out so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed make sure to do that and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted <laughs> sorry my husband's dancing right now so that you can be alerted when um, when i post new videos and if you have any comments please put them down below i love talking to you guys and make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video